Welcome to this end of the day wind down, a mini practice, so really accessible, something that we could do every single day that would just help us to release stress from the day whilst regenerating the parts of the body that are undoubtedly tired and bringing breath back to our hearts and releasing our brains. So you'll need a strap and we're going to start lying down on our backs on the mat. Extending the legs so that the feet line up with the corners of the mat, rolling the legs open, relaxing the groins, relaxing the feet, and then lifting the hips up and moving them towards the heels. So the lower back is really connecting with the earth as we lie down. The strap on the side waiting for us, but for now we don't need it. We're going to roll the shoulders back, spiral the arms, palms open to the sky. When the palms are fully open, it connects to our lungs. So if you close the hands, we're closing the lungs. With that in mind, keep really broadening the palms of the hands, letting them be soft, tension-free, and then closing the eyes. Soft and smooth breath. And sending each exhalation to a different part of the body to help relax and release that area. Starting, for instance, with the face, sending the exhalation to the forehead. And then to the temples. And the cheeks. The corners of the lips and the jaw. Each exhale bring that letting go -ness quality. Exhale into the shoulders, let them relax. See how the arms relax more, the hands relax more. Exhale into the hips and the buttocks, let them rest completely. Exhale gently into the legs, the feet, the heels. And from this new place of sensitivity, lifting the hands, folding the palms together in front of the heart space and opening our practice with one more. Inhale. Oh. And the hands coming back down, the eyes opening, and bending our knees. All right, time for our strap. So taking your strap and making sure that your strap has a little loop in it, like this. Right leg up, placing the loop on the arch of the foot, straightening the leg completely, pulling the toes back. And now sliding our hands, whoops, the strap is very long, sliding our hands down the strap. So I've got the strap between my thumb and my index finger, the webbing of the hand. One hand over the other. I'm sliding the hands down, the arms are straight. If you feel any tension or pain in the shoulders, you could have a bolster or a cushion underneath your wrists to lift the hands a little higher until you no longer feel that pain. 
Stretching the fingers too. When the arms are stretched like this, not only do we get a leg stretch, but we're getting an armpit stretch, a waist stretch, a lung opening. Many beautiful things happening in the upper trunk there. So keep extending the arms, extending that right leg, pulling the toes back, and seeing if you could feed the strap now through the thumb and the index finger, getting the leg closer without bending the knee. So look at the knee occasionally. Sometimes our knee feels straight, but when we look at it, we see, oh, I could straighten it more. So having inner and outer vision. Keep pulling the toes back, pushing the heels up. We'll start to feel the calf opening, all parts of the leg starting to open until those sensations meld together in one Beautiful, holistic opening of the legs, the hips, the waists, the armpits, breathing into that. And two. And one. Bring the leg back up. And we're going to remove the strap. Just place it on our left foot. Supta Padabhushasa. So arch and strap connecting. Straighten the leg. Even if your leg is here, straighten it completely and slide the hands down the strap, finding the floor or a cushion underneath the arms if you have tight shoulders. Try to bring that leg closer and closer, feeding the strap as you do so. Look at the foot and pull the toes back. Push upwards through the ball of the foot. See if you can even feel the skin of the ball of the foot stretching. Push the heel up to the sky. Feel the Achilles tendon opening, the calf opening. Check with your eyes that the knee is as straight as possible. See if the leg can come closer. And check that your elbows are still straight, your arms are still straight. The armpits are opening in a new way. You're feeling the side ribs, you're feeling your waist lengthen. Each inhale, each exhale, bringing more and more awakenings. And then bring the leg back up and release it. Right, we're now coming to a lateral supravanushasana. It's going to open our inner groins, our pubic bone, and the bottom half of the abdominal cavity, really bringing broadness to all the organs inside. So we are lifting the right foot up again, and we're placing the arch and the strap connecting, starting from here. Now this time, our right hand is going to hold the strap as close as possible to the foot as long as the leg is straight. So bring your hand up as much as you can and keep the knee bent. And now the excess strap, if you have any, is going underneath the upper back and the left hand is pulling it. So we're completely strapped in. Now pull the toes back and the heel up. There we go. We feel the back of the leg. Be brave, breathing through that. Inhale and exhale. Bring the leg to the right. As you bring the leg down, you get a little slack in the strap with the left hand to pull it so it remains taut. Look at your foot and make sure that as much as possible, your foot is coming towards the shoulder. I know when we're really tight, that can be painful and it may mean that you're higher away from the floor. That's okay. Just don't let the foot go down here. Bring it higher up. And then breathing through the intensity. Make sure that right knee is as straight as possible. The toes are still coming back. The Achilles tendon is long. Lengthening the breath. Letting it travel through these areas that are being opened without interference, just patiently letting the breath, the asana, do their work on us.
And now we're going to lift the leg back up. Lifting. And releasing, removing the strap from the upper back and having it ready and waiting on the left hand side. All right, left foot off the mat now. The strap in place on the arch of the foot, straightening the leg. The left hand is holding as close as possible to the foot without bending the knee. The rest of the excess strap underneath the upper back being pulled out to the right. Toes down, lengthen the back of the heel, penetrate more deeply. Hold that space, inhale, and exhale the leg to the left, making sure that it's not going lower than the hips, even if it means that your foot is not as close to the floor, that it's higher up, away from the floor, but it's coming closer towards you. Pull the toes back again, and extend and lengthen the back of the heel. Breathing. Being with the rhythm of the breath continually. Traveling with the breath into deeper and deeper parts. Feeling how the cells start to trust the breath and open and release. Having that patience, that humility. Keep relaxing the shoulders, don't take on tension in the jaw. And then bring the leg back up and taking the strap off, removing the excess. All right, now we're going to, what will probably be our most painful one, Parivrita Sutabarandrasana, essential to open up not only the backs of the legs, but specifically the lower back, the hips, the sacroiliac. All right, so we have to straighten our legs and we want to line our inner feet up so that there's some structure, Sutabarandrasana. Pull the toes back. Press the front thighs down so the legs are firm. Now we bend the right knee and we put our little loop in its position over the arch and straighten the leg completely. This time the left hand is holding the strap as close as possible to the foot. The right arm will extend to the side in line with the shoulder. Pull the toes back again. Mm, lengthen the back heel. That's it, get deeper into that. Okay, we're going to bring the leg across. Inhale. And exhale, pull it with your left hand. Bring the leg to the left. The elbow will bend, and at some point, the elbow will be resting on the floor, giving you some support. Now, this left leg, this straight leg, let the foot roll open, and bring that right leg across even more. That's it. Trying to pull the foot up towards you. The abdomen from the belly button, the center point of the body, we're twisting to the right, away from the legs. Having presence with the breath, feeling the pose from inside, from outside. giving time for the breath to travel everywhere. Keep pulling the toes of that right foot back and pushing up through the ball of the foot and lengthening the back of the heel. Keep rolling, turning and twisting from the belly button to the right, away from the leg. The face relaxed. And now bringing the leg back up and taking the strap off and lengthening the leg again, lining the feet up again. Supadarasa. Left hand side, bending the left leg and on the arch of the foot, 
straightening the leg. The right hand is holding the strap. And we're going to be bringing the left leg to the right. The left arm extended, the hand in line with the shoulder. So here we go. Inhale. And exhale, the leg across nice and gently, smoothly, with the breath, until the elbow supports you. Keep trying to pull the foot higher up, and to pull the toes back, and to lengthen the back of the heel. And now let that right foot roll open, and bring the leg across even more. And now come into contact with the belly button, the center point. Inhale, and with an exhale, turn from the right to the left, from the belly button, turning, twisting. Long, soft, smooth inhalations and exhalations. Let the back of the neck do contract and lengthen, let the head fall more and more towards the left. Resting more and more on the left ear. Keep pulling the toes of the left foot back, lengthening the back of that heel. Keep turning and twisting from the navel. And now preparing to bring the leg back up. Taking the strap off and moving the strap to the side. Dvi parasutapavantasan. Well done. We get to now just integrate all of those openings. So line the inner feet up precisely. Line the inner knees up. Interlock the fingers. And relax the shoulders back. Relax the jaw. Be in the smooth, soft, naturalness of your breath. Let the belly recede completely, melting towards the lower back. Let the face release all expression, becoming more and more neutral. And then releasing those feet back down to the ground. All right, we're going to roll over and come up. And we're going to take a block, or if you don't have a block, you can take a blanket and roll it to make like a, a long tube shape that you could lie back over. Or you could take a book around the house, that works too. And this block is going to go... is going to go underneath our shoulder blades, our upper back area, to help open the chest, this area, when we come into contact with our heart centre, and allow the strain that unconsciously collects there, that also protects us, to know that it can release so that we can function from the space. So, your block or your support, whatever that might be. Feet the width of the mat, but parallel, and then turn the heels open a little bit, so actually that knock meet, the toes coming in towards each other. Lying down, the entire lower back hip area on the mat, and now you have to feel if the block is in the right place, you might need to come up and adjust or move yourself a little bit wants to be a little bit lower than the top of the shoulder blade, otherwise you can't let the head come back. There's some restriction. So then let the inner knees rest against each other. Really important so that the abdominal area can relax, so that the lower back can relax. 
And now we're stretching the arms up. We're holding onto the upper outer arms of our hands. So we have this structure in the arms. Try to broaden the elbows away from each other rather than pulling the elbows in. Keep broadening and see how that broadens the shoulders. And now let the arms come over and down with gravity and the fingertips pulling the elbows back, bringing length. You should feel the skin in the armpit area, in the waist, in the ribs right underneath the armpit area, stretching. And if you don't, use your fingertips to pull the elbows back more and to rest the elbows down. We really, we really want to find that stretchingness in the skin cells. Being with the rhythm of the breath. Exploring this new space from inside with the breath. Keep neutralizing the face every now and then with an exhalation so that expressions are not building up on the outer face. We want to be moving towards inner sensation, clear blue mind. Time to change the cross of our arms. So bring the arms back up. Extend the arms, change the cross, and bring the arms back over, the elbows moving away from each other so the shoulders are staying broad, and that is ensuring that we're not cramping up the sides of the neck, which lead to the brain. So passiveness, softness, fluidity in the brain, and opening of the heart centre, of the lungs, of the solar plexus. Soft, smooth inhalations and exhalations. Preparing to lift the arms back up and extending, releasing our hold. Arms coming down, now to come out, we don't sit up, we roll over. And then coming back up. All right, having this block now in front of us and coming to take a seat in Sukhasan, the right ankle cross in front of the left. So the block has different heights, and you can go as high as you need to, and you can even put a second block on top, not two heights like that, it's going to be topply, but the second block would be like that on top or like that, in order for our foreheads to be supported when we come forward. And when the forehead has a slight support, it immediately helps to pacify the brain. It stops this forwardness, the bulge, of this forehead tension here, and it helps it to recede back, and it makes us really ready for a real proper Shavasana release. So, block right in front, Sukhasan. We're coming forward, and you're going to see what the block should be for you, adjusting as needed. The forehead on the block, arms stretch forward, elbows are straight. 
Fingers are really broad, the thumb moving far away from the index finger, the webbing of the hand stretching. Press down into the heels of the hands to lift the forearms up, the elbows up. So even though it's passive, it's restorative, the arms are vibrant, the shoulders are broad. Soft, smooth inhalations and exhalations. A seamless flow of breath. And preparing to come up, so just lifting the head off the block and bringing the hands back in, moving slowly as we change the cross of our ankles. With an exhalation, entering into our last yoga mudrasan. Really feel that you're diving into the depth of this, the eyes closing, the forehead meeting the block. Fingers spreading broadly, the webbing of the hands stretching and pressing into the heels of the hands to lift the forearms up, to broaden the shoulders, to have vibrance in the arms and yet complete pacification in the face and the brain. And lifting the head gently, the hands coming back in. And we're now going to rest for a couple of minutes in a really sacred shavasana. So blanket for the neck and head, so that there's no accumulation of tension as we press back in the skull. Just a little lifting this allows the shoulders to relax more and the heart center to open more. The strap, we can use it over our eyes and our ears, our outer ears. A really lovely experience. So making sure our buttocks are moving towards the heels so that always the lower back is feeling the support of the earth. And then, before we put the straps on, I'll just tell you, our arms will be extended diagonally away, not tied up to the sides of the waist, because then the waist feels that it can't go anywhere, it's contained. Giving space, bringing broadness. We are bringing life source back to this crucial area, so the arms having enough space for that. All right, obviously we need our arms to place our straps, so that's what we're gonna do now. And as the eyes close, we're placing the strap so that it also goes over the outer ears. And then the arms extending, finding their position. Settling. Feel the brain melting away. Feel the shoulders heavifying. The legs also heavy fine. The fingers relaxing completely. And the heart soft and open.
And then preparing to just very gently lift the hands up and rest one hand over the other right in the center of the chest, right over the heart center, softly, lovingly holding that space from the outside and feeding it with the breath from the inside. And with this simple act of giving attention and directionalizing breath to this area, the entire psychophysical balance and harmony of the body being recalibrated. So soft and easy breath. Being present with that. And now, pressing the palms together and ending our practice, giving thanks for the unique intelligence of the heart, giving thanks for the ancient wisdom that helps us to access this area. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om, peace, peace, peace. The hands releasing as we prepare to come back up to the surface, softly, dreamily, in that flow of peacefulness and wisdom from the heart and then when we feel ready to open our eyes again just removing the strap and the eyes opening and the moment the eyes open we are back on the surface so to speak but as a lotus our roots extending deep down and all of that blossoming coming back up and this practice is complete. May the rest of the day, the rest of the evening unfold from this space. Namaste.